So we're back for part three of my current six bed HMO conversion. Quite a lot has changed since part two. So we've got most of the second fix done and we're just working our way through the final bits and then getting the decorating and the carpet should be going down next week. Let's go inside and have a look. Where you can see we've got all the walls skinned and we've also got the fire cables out here for the fire panel and then all the electrics cable here for the consumer unit now the reason why we have the consumer unit in the hallway is we'll box it in um, but it means it's accessible to the tenants um, some people like to lock it under the stairs but the issue with that is that if there's a trip for anything someone then has to come out manually unlock it and reset it this way the tenants can quickly trip it back on and continue using the electricity yeah, so in room one and two, you can see we've got all the walls skimmed now. So we've boarded these walls, put some 100 mil insulation in. Um, we've also started doing the second fix. So we've got the kitchenette in this room, the doors the suite and the fire door one. And we've started doing the second fix in that as well. Um, what we've also done is we've also applied the floor in the ensuite and we're going to apply the floor around the kitchenette as well. Because we're going to be getting a lino here and then carpets elsewhere. So under the stairs, we've got all fire lining. So that's underneath the stairs and on the outside. Um, that's just for some of the regulations, um, because if there's anything which could be flammable under there, the council want that all to be fire alarmed. We've also got to have a socket out here in the hallway. That'll be so the cleaners can then easily clean, like plug in a hoover, um, just to hoover any of the floors. So this is the curio kitchen. We're gonna have a dishwasher under here. Then we're gonna have a washing machine and tumble dryer under the kitchen as well. You can see there's not much storage, um, but obviously every single room has a kitchenette with at least two covers for storage. So the idea is, is that when tenants want to cook something, they can just bring it down here, do their cooking, then go back up. And for things like spices or pots and pans, they can store those in these covers here. The investor on this property is going for like a rustic theme. So we're gonna be doing like custom made OSB beds. And they've also asked to have an exposed brick feature wall, as you can see here. So this is the kitchenette for bedroom number three. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but the floor in here used to be clay tiles. So the level of this floor is about 200 mil below the level of this house and what would have been the new level of the extension. So what we've done is we've raised this floor level up and what we've also had to do is raise this window up and this door frame up and then the doorway is here. This has to be moved across to allow for the kitchenette to fit in and also been raised up as well. So you can see outside where we've had to raise the window up with the floor level going up and we've still got to raise the window sill as well. And um, we've also had to add a step in uh, to accommodate for the new level so it's not like a big step coming in and out. So if you remember out the back, we used to have a lean-to here. Um, since then, since we started, that's now been knocked down and the extension is now finished. What we're going to be doing is we've still got to do the soffit and fascias, but we're not just doing that at the extension. We're going to be capping all over all the existing wooden soffit and fascia as well. We're also going to put new waste pipes, saw pipes and gutters and down pipes up. We've gone for a warm GRP flat roof. Um, we did have some lead here, but unfortunately, I only know today it's actually been next, so we've got to redo the lead work here as well. Um, we've got all new soffits and fascia here to go on, so there are going to be black soffit and fascia going on here, and then new capping going around all the existing wooden soffit and fascia up there. So moving inside, we've got all the new windows and doors on. So what we have here is we've got two French doors leading out. The reason for that is, is because this extension has been done under permit development, um, and we wanted to have a window for the bathroom and we're only allowed to have one window under the PD planning. So if we put some French doors in, it means that we've got a lot more natural light leading into this bedroom number three. Let's come and have a look. All the walls in here have been dotted, dabbed and skimmed, um, as well as all the first we've done. So we've got switches here and an extractor fan, as well as obviously all the fire first fix coming through as well. As you can see, we've got a really good size on suite in bedroom number three as well. It's also going to be adding a good amount of rent to this room as well.
Bedroom floors all been second fixed as well, and you can see we start decorating. What we do is always let the investor choose a design if they want to. So this investor's gone for this colour scheme um, with the blue skirt and the blue walls. This is the ensuite for bedroom number four. Um, this used to be the communal bathroom, if you remember. So there used to be a doorway here that was coming in. That's been studded over, and a new doorway opening made here. Um, since then, we've boarded all the walls, skimmed it, and we've actually gone for aqua panelling in all the ensuites. Um, and then we've got a nice big shower tray, tower rail, pedestal sink and toilet. So adding an ensuite like this within the room will add about £150 a month in rent that this room can achieve each month. So we're in bedroom five, we've finished all the second bits of carpentry in here as well. And if we just go through some of the second bits of electrics what we've done, um, each room is going to have a TV mount on the wall. So we've got an aerial point and then a point for power. So each room will have an intercom point just here as you walk in. So that will enable people to release the door, answer any calls. So if you've got like a delivery or a friend coming over, they'll be able to let them in or know to the door. Uh, it just saves someone ringing the doorbell and tenants not bothering to go see who it is. Um, this way they know it's for their room and they can go down. We've also got Ethernet points in each room. So this will enable if anyone's working from home, it means they can either plug their own router in or plug in directly to the Wi-Fi. So there'll be no black spots in the house whatsoever. So we've put the kitchenette in here and the ensuite in here. The reason being is this room would have been too small under the immediate standards. So putting it in here means that we've got a room which is big enough to not have to have a communal lounge. And it's also nice to have it separate from the bedroom as well. And also gives us a nice big ensuite in here as well. For the lighting we've just got pendants in the bedrooms and then in all the other suites we've got spotlights. So, so we've got a spotlight in here and a spotlight in there. Unfortunately the electrics aren't connected yet so it's quite dark in here um, in case you can't see. So this is bedroom six, we've finished all the second fixed carpentry in here so we've got fire doors as you walk in with Euro latches then standard doors for the ensuite. Just here, this is where the style work was before and the structural alterations were done. Since then, that's all been boarded and skipped. The board reviews of this one's acoustic board and we've also put 100 mil sound insulation in there as well, um, just so that the tenant here can't hear anyone cooking in that kitchenette or using the bathroom in there. Um, we've got 200 mil skirting going around the property, just as it is a period property, we've made it a bit of a feature. Um, we've also got the kitchenette here, um, it is only a basic kitchenette, but we've got enough space from under the counter fridge freezer so the tenant doesn't have to use the communal space, so they're not having their food nicked or anything like that. They've got all their own space to store food and then they can go downstairs when they need to cook. Um, got a couple of sockets for them to use as well, like a kettle, microwave, or anything like that.